these are my wind burner molds and at the front I have a, a little channel here for a an inflatable bladder to go into because um, it's got a nose cone on the front it doesn't really matter about having the hole in the front because the nose cone makes it all nice and pointy um, to make my inflation bladders I've got a template here that I've made out of, um, out of laminate to get the shape of my inflation bladder jig all I've done is I've pushed a piece of paper around on the inside here and then marked around the edges and just made it a little bit bigger now what I use to make my bags with is uh, Multex um, garden bags um, you can get these quite readable in, in Australia but um, if you're overseas, if you have a look at your garden bags and have a look at the plastic and you might have to try a couple to get the right plastic but it's, it's quite thin but it's very strong and greaseproof paper um, a soldering iron my soldering iron I have um, ground back a little bit and I've got a, a flat rounded tip on there I don't know if you can see it that well on my in my video but that there melts the plastic ok I'll get everything set up and um, show you how it's done right I've got my bit of plastic taped down to a nice flat melamine board any flat surface will do on top of that I've put a piece of greaseproof paper and on top of that is my jig right now all I've got to do is just run around with my soldering iron Once I've done that, the plastic should come away quite nicely. In a few places where it hasn't actually melted through, I'll just cut very carefully cut those ones loose. Here we have one bladder. Now I've just uh, made my bladder. I've got a piece of tubing there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap a bit of tacky tape around the end of it to um, seal the bag off onto the tube. Um, well, the plastic bag is sitting on top of the bit of tacky tape, and I've wrapped a bit around the top, and I'll put a bit of electrical tape around that as well. Just wrapped a bit of black electrical tape around that so that um, that bag is not going to come off my pipe. I'll just give it a, a pressure test to see how she goes. That's it. You don't need to put a lot of pressure into these because all you're basically doing is just wanting to push your seam together. There's your bladder sitting in place right down to the tip I normally put these into my layout before I close the mould up I put a, a vacuum hose on the end of this so it sucks my bag closed and I find it sits nicely in there because I've got quite a wide or quite an open fuse anyway and then close the, um, the layup around the, the bag and then um, blow the bag up and, and she's done